going on guys? Off the Brink TV here bringing you another video and this time we're going to be talking about this little guy, the Anchor USB 3.0 4 port hub. So check it out. Now first I'd like to talk about Anchor as a company. They seem to make everyday items or quality of life items like USB hubs and charging stations. And they really seem to keep the quality across all lines of their products. This isn't the first Anchor product I've owned and I could tell you that they definitely pay attention to detail. Um, even though I try to stay unbiased, I do tend to be a little brand loyal when it comes to certain things. For example, if I'm looking for RAM, I'll probably check out Corsair first, or if I'm looking for a hub, I'll probably look at Anchor first. And a company that focuses on quality first is definitely something I tend to look for, especially before giving them my money. So the full name on Amazon is actually the Anchor AH112 USB 3.0 4 port hub plus 5 volt 2.1A charge only port. Yeah. If you want to buy it, just go to Amazon and type in AH112 or Anchor AH112 and it'll pull it up. Uh, this one actually replaces the AH111 model. Included in the package, obviously, is the hub itself with the 12 volt 3A power adapter and a 3.5 foot USB 3.0 cable. However, I highly recommend getting maybe an Amazon Basics USB extension cable. When connecting it to your laptop, the three and a half foot cable is fine, but if you're gonna use it with your desktop like I am, it goes a little less way than you'd expect. Now, when you first open the device, the first thing you'll probably notice is its design. It keeps everything tight in a crisp, low profile casing with no visible screws or metal. Unfortunately, the top is still shiny like the last model, but it does have some nice matte accents that top off the sleek look of the device. It's also very light without sacrificing any quality for weight. The hub also uses low profile ports instead of protruding ones such as found on the last model. It leaves for a much more secure connection and looks way better when devices are connected. Another great thing about the design are the invisible LED indicators. The red one's always on when the device is on. However, whenever you connect a USB peripheral, a blue LED will shine through the shiny finish on the top here and the LED indicator is not too bright at all. It's actually perfect. Another thing about the design that's a huge plus is the rubber feet on the bottom. This is an extremely underrated part of a component and gets overlooked more often than you think. The hub also has a 2.1A charging port on the side for your iPhone or tablet, which basically means you could rapid charge or charge at the same speeds as if you were to plug it in your wall. This is actually incredibly useful and I like where it's positioned on the device. It allows me to still connect my everyday or common peripherals to the front while having my phone layout on the side while charging. There's also a power button here on the back, which I like quite a bit and is often overlooked on USB hubs. It allows me to turn off other peripherals like keyboards that might be LED lit or mice that are connected. Unfortunately, the hub is not bus powered and does require a 12 volt 3A power adapter that is included. One thing to note though, the adapter itself is still like your average power adapter, so it can cause some trouble when connecting it to a surge protector. Now the hub boasts having four super speed USB 3.0 ports with a transfer rate of five gigabits per second. Not to be confused with gigabytes per second though, five gigabits per second actually equals 5,000 megabits per second or 625 megabytes per second or 0.625 gigabytes per second. This is actually 10 times faster than USB 2.0 and is the max speed that's allowed with USB 3.0. It's important to keep in mind though that the actual transfer rate will be dependent on the capability of your device or the slowest device. For example, if you have an external hard drive connected to the USB hub with a write speed of 500 megabytes per second, then the transfer rate will be limited at 500 megabytes per second because of the hard drive. The reverse is also true. Let's say you have a solid state hard drive with a write speed of 700 megabytes per second. The actual transfer rate will be capped at 625 megabytes per second because the USB hub is the slower of the two. 
And of course, it's backwards compatible or legacy compatible with any USB 2.0 or 1.1 device. So through and through, this is definitely one of the better USB hubs I've used or owned. Like I said before, Anchor seems to value the quality of their products across all of their peripherals. And I can attest to that since this isn't the first Anchor product that I've owned. One thing that really stands out to me about this device is how versatile it is. You could bring it with you with your laptop and it functions great and it's lightweight for those types of things. But if you want to set it up on your desk or your desktop, it looks great doing that as well. And it's fully functional and doesn't move or have a problem when you're using it that way either. So the multifunction purpose of this really makes it stand out. But you know, this week, definitely a short one. Uh, it's a quick little device. So, but still, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.